Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, today we are doing a camera comparison between two of the best cameras on the market, and that is the Pixel XL and the iPhone 7 Plus. Now when comparing cameras between two devices, we take a look at the low light in both a portrait and landscape feature. We also take a look at the color reproduction, detail, and of course the all-important selfie. So we'll compare these two and see which one is the better between these different categories. Now let's get right into it. So in the first one we have the landscape or general overall kind of viewing of a night shot. And really with this one, neither one does a particularly great photo to be honest uh, in this low light situation. Um, although personally I would give it to the iPhone 7 Plus simply for the fact that with this phone you are going to have a much better uh, representation seeing as the ground is a bit better and the lens flare definitely does not temper up as much as the Pixel XL giving the really ridiculous lens flare and the halo effect now Google says they will fix this, but man, does it need to be fixed like yesterday because that is a really, really bad lens flare and halo effect that honestly just ruins the shot. Like if I was a realtor, quite frankly, I wouldn't use either one of these photos, but this is a much better uh, representation of the building than this with the dramatic lens flare that the Pixel is giving me. So overall, I will lean slightly more to the iPhone Plus with this photo, but in the next one, you can definitely tell a difference with the low light um, and although neither one again does a great job as the iPhone 7 Plus can't really get a clear shot it does do a much better job of brightening up the photo than the Pixel XL. Now I have said this in the other videos but the reason I'm looking down on the Pixel XL is because we took multiple photos and the one I was looking straight at the photo uh, was not clear. Uh, this one is at least clearer. So I take two photos with each of these phones and overall the iPhone 7 Plus is going to be the slightly better one in terms of low light. Now moving on to detail, uh, the Pixel XL has actually done a much better job than most Androids typically do in the detail category. Uh, now in this photo I always tap the middle right here to see which one is going to be able to pick up detail uh, much better off. And with these two, only looking at the detail and not the color reproduction, really they're quite evenly matched. Uh, overall, the Nintendo Land here on the side, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart 8, all that stuff is pretty similar. Let's take a look at the middle. Again, very uh, good detail, not great, but good detail. I'd say the Pixel XL is doing a little bit better uh, towards the middle here with Watch Dogs and Injustice being a bit clearer than on this side. And let's take a look at the left side. And the left side, the Pixel XL is doing a better job both over here with Stick of Truth and Final Fantasy coming out much better than on the iPhone 7 Plus. So overall, it looks like when it comes to detail, iPhone 7 has never, well, none of the iPhones have ever been that great in terms of detail. Uh, and I think that just has to deal with, you know, Apple not putting as much emphasis on megapixels, and when you crop or zoom in, that's when you need the megapixels. So overall, you're going to get a better overall photo with the Pixel XL for details. And in color reproduction, this is a really interesting one, because Apple has always been really great at color reproduction. However, when it comes between this one, you get a really good comparison. So first off the bat, I have to note that both overall photos, the iPhone 7 Plus is a little bit brighter, so it does a little bit better job, again, with the lower light situation than the Pixel XL. However, when we zoom in and look at the color reproduction, Steve's, uh, Steve's skin tone is much better on this photo than on this one. It's more accurate. But not only that, uh, you get a lot more uh, accuracy in the other one. So first of all, in the green and purple shade, again, uh, the pixel probably does the most accurate job of representing what the green looks like here, but the purple is more accurate on the iPhone 7 Plus. In terms of the white balance, um, both are almost the same, although the Pixel XL is doing a little bit better job of differentiating this as not white 
whereas the iPhone kind of blends it in as a white. And then finally, when we come to here, the iPhone's a little bit, uh, just doing a little bit of a more whitewashing uh, right here on each of their faces, whereas the Pixel is really getting the true depth and shade and more representative of the color that each of their faces are. So overall, when it comes to skin tone, the Pixel XL is definitely picking up a better skin tone compared to the iPhone 7 Plus, which is, again, a very rare instance because the iPhone has a great representation when it comes to color accuracy. But overall, the Pixel XL just does a better overall job when it comes to definitely skin tones. When it comes to greens, the Pixel uh, XL doesn't do as good as the iPhone 7, but when it comes to white as well, you're gonna get a better representation with Pixel XL. So overall, that HDR Plus is really coming in handy and the Pixel XL is gonna be the better in color reproduction. And finally, the all important selfie. Now you have heard this uh, time and time again with the Pixel XL comparisons. Pixel XL is pretty much the best selfie out there on the market. Uh, and even the iPhone can't compete with it. Let's go over on why. So first of all, just looking at the background, this is a very hard test uh, to see if you're gonna get a lot of fuzziness in low light situations on the left side and on the right side when the sun is behind you if you can still see anything behind you. And the iPhone unfortunately does fail uh, on both accounts getting a lot of noise or fuzziness on this side Better job than last year's uh, 6S Plus, definitely, but overall still a little bit too fuzzy on this side. But man, does it just not do well in terms of uh, correcting sunlight uh, at the same time. So this light kind of washes out everything. You can barely see the stairwell on the right side. However, on the Pixel XL, it does a really good job of the left side, but not only that, it does a great job, uh, better than any we've seen here on the right side. So really, if you're taking a lot of day photo selfies, you're gonna want to be able to have the Pixel XL. Now, neither particularly has a wide angle camera, but the Pixel XL does have the wider shot, so you get more on the left and right side than you do on the iPhone here. Now, in terms of the detail, Pixel XL is pretty much the only one that I've ever seen to actually beat iPhone on the detail in a selfie. The stubble is just a lot better defined here, whereas on here, it's just a little bit faded out uh, and just not as accurate. So uh, for the first time in a long time, we do have someone that beats the iPhone when it comes to selfie all around, and that is the Pixel XL does the better overall job of taking a great selfie. So when we go back, low light is going to be the iPhone 7 Plus just having a way better low light, and Pixel XL really needs to fix that halo effect. When it comes to detail, however, the Pixel XL does do a better job overall getting more detail in your photo. When it comes to color reduction, we actually have the Pixel XL winning, just uh, barely edging out the iPhone 7 Plus with more color accuracy. Although I will say iPhone does probably the second best job out of any smartphone. And finally, the Pixel XL does actually even take the selfie away from Apple when it comes to the overall better quality in a selfie. So that being said, it looks like the Pixel XL is the better overall job in camera quality. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Did you like this comparison? Which one do you want to take photos with? And do you think that the low light is overall the most important thing? Or is your selfie, color reduction, and detail also important? Let me know in the comment section down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.